Hello and welcome back. So you're looking at getting into falconry, owning your own bird, or you're just interested in birds of prey and you're wondering to yourself, how the heck do you even start? Well, it doesn't matter whether it's owls, falcons or hawks that you're interested in. This video is going to teach you how. So we're going to start by finding an experienced falconer to help you out. It could, it could live down the street, could live round the corner. If you don't know anybody, have a look on the Facebook groups, on the falconry groups, there's, there's loads of them. Someone, there'll be somebody in your area. If not, I'll post the, I'll post a list here, but there's um, falconry clubs up and down the country. Sorry if you're not in the UK, but it's just the same. A quick Google search and you'll find... A list of falconry clubs in your area or better still if these a falconry center they do experience days you know ring them up ask them if you can volunteer to work there go and go and clean the baths out uh, go and muck out the pens clean the clean the pens out just do it for free sure willing i'm sure someone will help you out so uh, as, as well as finding a mentor someone that can train you you need to find permission to fly your bird so all the fields that you see around you, around your town, you can't just go and fly on them. You're going to need to go and ask the farmer if you can fly on his on his fields. Um, while you're there, have a look what quarry there is, what 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 you'll be flying your bird at, e.g., birds, which is feather, or rabbits, which is which is fur. Yeah, that'll determine what sort of bird you what sort of bird you're looking for. Wrap yourself some books. Do a lot of research before you even think about getting a bird. You read the books, you'll be able to decide what bird you actually want. Some birds are better for flying, some birds are not. Owls are, you can fly them, but you can't do hunting. So there's a vast array of books out there. Hawks. Owls. This is my favourite book. The Understanding of Birds of Prey by Nick Fox. Honestly, the detail in this is immense. I always find myself going back to this book. Um, alongside this as well, these DVDs. There's about there's about ten of them all together, and it starts. They start from behaviour and learning, all the way up to flying. And then they do a separate bit where they have um, insemination, and it's uh, you know, they're really good and they're really worth. If you can get hold of them, and you're really interested, go and spend the money and get the lot. So now, now you've done your research, you've found someone you can talk to, and that can guide you. It's called called a mentor. Um, it's time to if if you, if you think falconry is for you, it's time to start getting your equipment. There's no point in thinking about getting a bird until you've got all your equipment. So we're going to start with pretty one of the most expensive ones, which is telemetry. Telemetry is a crucial, a crucial tool within the falconry. You could lose your bird without without this. You, you'll never you'll never see it again. So what is telemetry? So telemetry it comes in two parts. It comes with the receiver and a transmitter now this transmitter can be placed anywhere on the bird some birds you can put it on the on the anklets and some birds have you can have a, they have a backpack so you place it on the on the back and the backpack goes under the bird's wings just like just like a backpack that we use or preferably for hawks we have a tail mount it's a the mount is clipped on and the trans the bell a bell and a transmitter connected to that to the base of the tail to the base of the tail feathers underneath the feathers so once you've found the right telemetry for you it's good to it, it's good to shop around um people sell them second hand on facebook and they're a lot cheaper they're going to be a couple of hundred quid but to buy them new they can go up to thousands uh well over a grand um so once you've got it Play about with it. Don't just put it on your bird and think, oh yeah, I can find my bird. Put it on your dog. 
let your dog off in some woods, let him run off, track him, track, track him with your telemetry. Or if you've not got a dog, put it in your kid's pocket, let your kid go and play out, and go and search for the kid. <laughs> it's all fun and games, but you'll get used to it. You'll, you'll Another get vital it. piece of equipment, your falconry scales. You're going to need these for monitoring the weight of your bird throughout all the training. Um, you can pick these up, 20 quid or something. It's like, yeah, shop around eBay. They're not, they're not expensive, the scales, but they are a vital piece of equipment. Your falcon regrow club, you'll definitely need one of these. It's the means of securing your bird. Plus, once your bird's flying, if once your bird's flying to the hand, it will hit your hand pretty hard. Um, you don't want them sharp talons digging into your arm and your hand. Perches, you're going to need a perch for your bird. Um, the different, there's different varieties. There's um, bow perches and block perches. The difference is the bow perches are more for hawks because hawks naturally roost in trees. So they're, they'll naturally grab. Um, same with owls as well. They're naturally roost in trees. So they'll naturally grab. But then for um, falcons, <clears throat> they're naturally uh, roost on a ledge. So their feet are always flat. So that is why you'll use the block perch. So you'll also need bird, ba bird baths. They come in all different sizes from small to large for a kestrels all the way up to, eag to eagles. Birds love a bath. Uh, as soon as you give them fresh water, they're straight in it. Travel box. You'll also need a travel box. They come in at different sizes for the small birds to the big birds again. Um, you don't just want to be putting your bird on a perch in the back of the car. If they're in a travel box, the more secure, the dark, the, the calm, um, they won't be bashing about. So everywhere. now you've got all the expensive equipment, it's time to make sure your bird's secure when you get it. So first thing you're going to need is the anklets, which are the leather bits that go around the ankle. This is where you, then your jesses, your jesses will go through the anklet and connect to the extender. Then the extender is connected to the swivel. So the swivel, its main job is to stop your bird from getting tangled up, whether it be on the perch or when it baits off your arm or off the perch. So what's baiting? Baiting's when the bird tries to fly away um, from your arm. This will stop it from getting all tangled up. It'll just turn and swivel about. And then the last bit is your leash. This is the bit that you secure your bird with onto the glove with your falconry knot. Now let's talk about a bit about the about the Averys. Um I made mine out of wood. Um, but as we know, wood doesn't last long. Doesn't last that long. It rots. You got to keep on top of it with painting, and the price of wood now is is, is going up. Um, but I have seen people use corrugated sheets, build a wooden frame, and use the metal corrugated roof sheets all around it. Um, obviously, that's going to last a lot longer. The Avery wants to be as big as possible. <laughs> These my Averys are 12 foot in length by 8 foot by 8 foot across. So the reason we use bars is so the bird doesn't damage itself when it crashes against them. If you use mesh on the windows, the bird's got more of a chance of getting its feathers caught and snapping them. Or sometimes once the bird's finished eating, it'll rub its beak on the bars. If that was mesh, the mesh would be like a cheese grater and it'll cut the sear at the top of the beak. So the sear is the skin at the top of the beak. So we'll have a ledge at the window because birds are really, they're really nosy and they just like to sit there and bask and see what, bask in the sun and see what um, what's going on. So we'll have a different few perches. One where it, where it can sit in the rain because for some reason they like to sit in the rain one in the shelter as you can see crap everywhere on that but one under the shelter and then a nest ledge the nest ledge 
is different for hawks and falcons. It's got five eggs. But yeah, the nest ledge is different for hawks and falcons. For the hawks, we put a tire in and fill it with fill it with trees. Same again for the falcons. Perches. She's not happy. But what we'll do in this tire is we'll fill it with 10 mil pea gravel. What the falcons do is they use it as a scrape. So so they'll scrape they'll scrape an indent within the stone and they'll lay the eggs in that. Now you've got all your aviary set up. Well, I keep calling it aviary. This the proper term for it is a muse, a, a free loft a muse. Um but once you've got all that set up, um it's time to get some food in. So I have a shop around online. Um, you want to be feeding day old chicks, turkey poults, quail, mice. You want to be giving it a ver giving your bird a varied diet. <clears throat> um, when you progress and you've started taking your bird out flying, obviously you'll have the quarry that you'll be feeding your bird, which will be rabbits, birds squirrels whatever you catch you'll feed that to your bird as well it's all good nutrition um yeah so once you've got your everything set up you've got all your equipment it's time to get your bird uh if you go to if you end up going to the um falconry club there'll be a lot of people there that will be able to put you onto a reputable breeder um in i think personally it's best to get a bird from a chick. Um, you can bring that bird on. You can train it how you need to train it. You'll find out its temperaments. Um, you know, it's a lot easier. It, you could you go on Facebook, for for instance, or we, there's a website called Bird Trader. Go and have a look. You'll you'll probably see like birds for sale, five year old. They've took feather and fur um flying at such a weight but once you get that bird it won't be doing none of that you've got to start afresh with that bird which will be more hard work so you best to best off getting a chick um and bringing that chick up yourself now i'm going to conclude this video here and hopefully the information has been useful to you um and i've helped somebody out today but um, if you've watched this video and you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Um, hit that no notification bell. And like the video if you found it interesting and you liked it. Give it a good thumbs up. Uh, and I'll see you in the next one.